Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an interesting um, revelation today from CD Project Red after they mentioned that they would be um, releasing the 2.0 update on uh, September the 21st, which is just a week away. But also the revelation that you can now use this build planner from their official website, um, which is really cool. A link will be put in the description, but you can go to the official website, I'm sure. You'll find it's all over there. Excuse the dog barking in the background from one of my neighbors. Um, yeah. Anyway, so let's have a look at this. So you should all be familiar. Um, the first thing I want to say about this is probably that you'll be able to respect your character. Let's say you've only got one character um, and you're deep into the game and you don't want to start again. You can respect your character's points, reset all. Um, you could do that anyway in the base game, but you might want to do it now because you can now create these sort of character builds. And I'm pretty sure that in the game, there'll be an option to choose specific builds that are already pre-made um, using specific perks. So you should all be familiar with these bodies, reflexes, technical ability, cool, um, intelligence. But the new um, relic is exclusive to uh, the uh, Phantom Liberty expansion. So um, we're not gonna go into too much detail as to what kind of build. I mean, for me, it really depends on how you wanna play. I mean, I've, I've got about 15 different characters um, that I've created in the base game and um, things like technical ability is great for if you wanna be a sneaker, be able to sneak around and um, open unlock doors and without making too much noise and um, hijack vehicles and stuff like that call ability is kind of nice as well um net runner intelligence that you know you could the way i've i've been playing it has been really great to be able to just like focus on specific areas so you're not my first character i made i was like a i did everything sort of level um but then i started making new characters so i wanted to do a gunslinger um or um a melee character so i put all my points into body like just someone that goes around punching everybody and then as soon as you get those gorilla arms update upgrade sorry um you just make mince me um if you remember the mission that you have where you have to fight the uh beat the brat um that mission that's given to you from the the guy at the beginning as you come out of your apartment I've, i'm really terrible with names but i think the mission is called beat the brat that first one and then you get to the last guy there excuse the spoilers um and um if you've not got the right sort of um a build he he can completely destroy you in one two hits um but if you've got the right build you can just go up to him with one punch and just knock him out and um it's just hilarious so yeah these are really kind of interesting um, to see where you want to build your character and to um, mess around with. So you can just sort of play around with uh, what that brings to the table. So let's just uh, start with your reflexes. So that's kind of interesting. And if we go here, it's kind of a bit small. Um, by the way, this is one of my tracks that I made myself um, in the background called cyberpunk aftermath um i wish this could be a bit big oh i can zoom in that's good that's better so salt in a wound submachine fun tailwind slaughterhouse um all attacks counterattacks, and deflected bullets apply bleeding wow so if you can imagine um that's going to be quite cool for damage. So the f one thing I'm going to say from the beginning. Um, so it's really good that CG Project Red have included all of this extra stuff to mess around with. That's better. Um, but I think a big complaint from people that played the game quite a lot. Um, you'd find that after a certain point in the game, certain level... It became way too easy, even on the most difficult settings. And um, the way I sort of tried to circumvent that was to play the game without uh, 
leveling up at all, trying to play through it. But you get to a point in the story in the game that you can't progress anymore because they're all skull level characters, and um, you you just can't you can't even sneak up and um, stealth kill them. You you try and do that, and they shrug you off. Um, yeah. Um, and then obviously you try and shoot or blow them up and um, it causes like a slither of damage and they turn around and mess you up um, but yeah really nice way I did get quite far doing that but that's the sort of thing you have to resort to to um, uh, make the game a bit more challenging so there were some mods on PC and obviously not everyone's going to be on PC there were some mods on PC that adjusted the balance which did actually make it quite challenging um, but it shouldn't be up to modders to do that so my concern is with CD Projekt Red adding all of these attributes um, you know uh, obviously they, they want to showcase characters at their best but it just seems that um, the enemies are just like well yeah um, I mean Let's, let's just go back and give you an example. Um, I'm just flicking through all these so you can just see what's here before we talk about what they are. Um, good uh, reference to... Um, oh, my memory is just completely gone. Because I'm trying to think of what to say next. Um, the, uh, the anime, um, the characters that you'll see in some of these icons here. If I go back to the one here called Die, Die, Die. And, I mean, I can't even remember the character's name. Um... Gosh, well, that's what happens when you get older. You forget, you forget stuff. Um, but I think you all know who she is, and you can remind me in the comments. I've got Lucy on my bed as a big long pillow. You've seen the video I've done of that, so I'll never forget Lucy's name. I sleep with her every night. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, what, was, what was I saying? I've even forgotten what I was saying. Yeah. So, the difficulty aspect. So it's good that they're showing your character being powerful. Um, make a mincemeat of the enemy you can do all this really cool stuff um, and they had a, a video prior to this where they were do, doing an interview and the guy in the background was playing one of their testers or somebody was playing the game while they were doing the interview and he was playing against MaxTac and um, as you know MaxTac are don't have a level they they come in regardless so if you mess about and you're playing on easy they're going to come in hard on you and mess you up uh which is cool um brilliant but the guy in the background right he was just sitting there running around shooting they were kept, kept sending max tag after him and he and he was living he was just surviving this um for like 15 minutes or whatever he's just like running around still and then the, the guy doing the interview was looking like he's like actually this guy's really good he he's really he was really impressed with how he was actually managing to just fend off the toughest characters in the game i would assume um and this is my concern um it's great when you get to a game and you've uh you've um max your powers out and you, you're pretty godlike but it seemed to happen very quickly in this game in the base game um, and I really do hope that there is an additional difficulty once they release this 2.0 that will really test your skills I mean um, I'm a big fan of instagib uh, or one hit kills kind of gameplay to make it more realistic it's like what's the point of having a, a gun that you can shoot um and you can take it like 50 bullets before they die i mean that's not realistic i like i like the realism of um one headshot should mean death uh not oh i can take 50 headshots before i get killed and um so i hope that they include that so that you've built up this character um uh, that looks familiar i can't even remember his name bloody heck uh gosh it's been such a long it feels like a long time my head gets filled with so much stuff um and uh yeah and yeah so i hope they give this sort of option so that you can be challenged um and you know that's that's really what i'm hoping for 
Um, you sh I, I mean, obviously there's so much here, you miss out on a lot if you decide not to sort of mess around with any of these. Um, I think they've even got, no, they've got still the same sort of icons here. Um, but it does give you an option of really sort of experimenting with uh, different builds, but you've got to be sort of, you've got to really plan out what you what you want to, what you want to do, what kind of character you want to be. And sort of stick to that and not sort of try and not sort of incorporate skills from other sets so like um like i said my melee character that just used fists um threw away all of the weapons didn't pick up weapons didn't have a pistol as backup i couldn't do any long range attacking um, but he was a bit of a stealth character too so he's a bit like stealth punching character and um that was cool um, I found that the net runner was way too easy too early on, um, and you know you put all your stuff in intelligence. You got all this stuff here, so you can actually do all this. Um, we'll have a look at that in a second, and um, you know the net runner. There was no one really enough to challenge it. It was so easy to sit back and spam all these um, hacks and. Uh, they're showing that again that you know you can sit there and um do all of that again but even more powerful now um and so he did say one thing that was interesting that there's this little meter battle thing that goes on when you are a net runner that you're on the network and the other net runners are on the network and they will be looking at you when you get sort of when you're sitting there stealth mode um they'll be trying to hack you as well so you're gonna have to try and fend off the other net runners um you, you do that already in the base game um but hopefully they've tweaked that so that that sort of element is a lot more a lot more um interesting um you know i think that would be pretty cool we'll find out in a week's time um Question is, yeah, I think a lot of people will start again and play because um, they've got another, what, five days after before the actual Phantom Liberty releases. So there's enough here to mess around with. And um, yeah, so I think I've looked at all the icons. So yeah, those, that's my main concern with this. I think it's going to be fun, obviously, to be overpowered and run in there and do these fantastic moves Ch check out those sort of um the what the three builds that they've shown um and uh but making up your own builds is quite fun in its in itself um giving yourself your own restrictions by going back to that um this page here and not leveling up certain elements of it so maybe you're a weak you don't put anything into body um, but you put everything into intelligence, so you, you leave everything out of there. No reflexes, no keep, you know, restrict restrict the way you create your character. So you're making this really sort of um, interesting way to play, and then you know you're making these restrictions. Well, I can't, I can't do that. And the, the way that was good about the game is that you, it, has the music stopped? No, it hasn't. Um, yeah, it's the good thing about the game is that um, it does give you that sort of challenge where. Okay, well, if I can't do it that way, then I have to think outside the box and do it a different way. And um, that's that's pretty good. Um, I think that's always been pretty good. Um, the options that it's, it gives you for each sort of encounter that you have. And um, I think they've done that really well, even in the, even in the current game. So I think that, that's already in place. So having all these extra things now. So let's try and create a stealthy sort of character here i mean i'm a big fan of stealth so i think cool is something that you need to put your points in so it's good that you can actually do it on that screen there I assume the main game will be like this as well remember before you had to you had the two screens you wouldn't have access to see what this does so if we put cool up let's put 10 points into cool so that's now unlocked that uh silence with knives access so Again, you can be melee or um, ballistic stealth character, or you can be this uh, hands-on stealth where you, you're sneaking behind people and grabbing them. 
Um, so the one you want is the uh, where you can jump on them. Uh, da -da -da, where's that? The spider one. Let me see where that is. Uh, da -da -da. I'm not sure if it's on that one. Let me have a look. Uh, might be on the reflexes. Um, let's just for now. So we can just unlock. I mean, you can always put them back. Put the intelligence up. Put the technical ability. I think you need to have for a stealth character. You need to have technical ability as well. Um, because that means you're able to sneak around and unlock doors and stuff like that. Um, I assume that's the technical ability. Let's have a look. Coming in hot. Um, oops. First aid. Gear no, I don't. I think that's uh, slightly different. This is all loud and proud technical ability. Um, so let's just take that off. Bring that back down. I think let's just max out call for now. So we can see what's going on with that. So 20 on call, that's it. Won't let me go any higher for some reason. Um, if I use up all the points, that's probably why. Let's go back, put that down. All right. No, it won't let me go higher on there. So, right. But you've got how many perp points? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting confused with perp points. So yeah, killer instinct. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, level one recovery for throwable. So throwable weapons is cool, but I mean it won't. It wouldn't fit. So this is good when crouched. You need that 100%. Looks ability to sprint while crouching. You need that. So you want to max all those three out. In fact, you probably don't even need that killer instinct because that's to do with weapons. Um, but we'll keep that anyway. Uh, Sound of Istan to slow down town whilst driving. Again, that's not going to be very good for a stealth character, um, but good for the car car driving, I guess. Uh, so what have we got? Blind spot. Uh, did a small target. It's when crouch. Twenty percent mitigation chance when crouch and not moving. When crouch high, your mitigation chance. The longer it takes. To, yeah. So you need all of that. Uh, mitigation chance for aiming from cover. I assume that means getting spotted um, when crouched sprinting. So this is complete stealth character here. When optical cam is active, you are undetected. Utilizing an enemy grants 15 health, 57 and 10% movement boons. Uh, speed for six seconds. Very good. Optical camo activates automatically. That's cool. Um, 75 stamina cost for crouch sprinting. See, look, this is totally stealth. Um, and this is for the cool sort of character. Um, but obviously, you don't want all these poison, corrosion, all that stuff. This is like just for those people that want to stealth it around. So now here, no movement speed penalty when aiming a throwable weapon. No, that's not really. I mean, that's. So if you want to create a stealth character that then acts like a panther, panther stealth style, then obviously this right hand branch here would be a wonderful kind of um way to develop that character so you've got this as well and then you sort of also put all your points per points into knife throwing and you know from a from a distance or up close but you've got all that nice speed boost as well and mitigation which is great and then on this side again um headshot weak spot damage focus mode when you aim at full stamina so this is a bit different uh, when focus active shooting grenades out of the air is easier. So again, this is a bit more less stealthy. Reload speed, more we sort of ballistic weapons based. Um, so it's kind of completely different character tree there or character arc um, there. And you can see how it's all lined up. So if you look at this here, the way it's sort of connected, you can see that that's how it's creating the character now. So that is all connected there. And then obviously, you can go full panther once you unlock that one. Uh, why can't it let me buy it? What have I not done to buy it? Won't let me buy it for some reason, I don't know. Anyway, so that's that's what I would use for a stealthy character that is, um... now let me just see where else I would go with reflexes. Let me see what that, let's go back to the, um, here, just so I can see the description. Ability evade enemy attacks. See, look, once you've been discovered, 
your ability to evade enemy attacks. That means that's not really going to be useful for you. Body, again, that's great for your health and... Um, I'm trying to find the uh, the other one that's to do with um, stealth. Technical, it's not technical, it's not cool. It's not reflexes. Intelligence, maybe? No, because that's more about... <clears throat> Excuse me. So, look, um, going back to the stealth character. So, a stealth character that doesn't necessarily want to get too hands-on, but has that option to get hands-on, it's good to then have another different type of character and have a hacking stealth character. So they start off by hacking, um, get to case the joint, get to see what's going, cause the distractions. Um, so having that is kind of nice. Um, and having the quick hacks to be able to lure enemies away and do all sorts of stuff like that, which is nice. And um, that's another option that you can have. Um, well, let's just reset all these. Can I reset all? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, bit of a groggy throat here. Um, if we go to body, body, uh, look at that body. Um, so now if you want to make a thugger character, so you start putting all your points into body. Look at that body. Um, yeah, right. Slow health regen in combat. Now that's wicked. So you're punching away at someone. Your health is still building up. Look, so this is, yeah, this is definitely for your slugger character. Um, again, what's that? Vehicle collision. Um, wrecking ball. Stamina cost for attacks with blunt weapon. No, you don't want that. You just want um, additional max health. Boat. This is perfect. Um... Yeah, look at this. When that's active, so max it out. Adrenaline rush. You know, this is what you want. When the drive is active, 20 self item. Yeah, you want all of this. This is now your slugger character. No weapons allowed. Put your guns away. Put your blades away. Um, no, you don't want quite. Well, unless you can do quake with a, with your fists. Um, without, yeah, look, with a blunt weapon. Press Q to violently slam the ground, damaging, staggering nearby with a chance of knockdown. Um, <clears throat> the superhero landing, but the picture there does not show with a weapon. So again, that is exactly what you need for this uh, melee character. So you're going to have to use these to get to there. I don't know, I'm not sure if you can, don't, if you need that one. Right, then full quake, and then obviously that swing character that you've seen. So this is great. For, this sort of combination of these two is great for that sort of melee character that doesn't use weapons. Um, it's going to use his fists only. Uh, superhero, like the near, there you go, epicenter, that's the one for superhero. Um, for each enemy hit, there you go, get extra stamina. So you'll need that. I'm not sure why they're showing it with a weapon. Um, I'm assuming you can do that with fists. After hitting them with a strong attack, yeah, a strong melee attack. So all these combination of both of those are great for um, a fisticuff character that doesn't use any weapons for wusses. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Um, if you get where that quote comes from, you get some brownie points. Um, yeah, so that's great for doing that sort of melee character very beefy um, animals type character um, but quite interesting if you then say well okay that's cool um but what about mixing that up now with the stealth character that we just had earlier if you've got enough point yeah i got 54 points left um go back to cool and have a stealth melee character doesn't use weapons doesn't use anything um quite any advanced stuff um but goes around and um beats the shit out of you after he sneaked up behind you and punches you into oblivion um, and if you get rowdy with him and he gets discovered he can hold his own and beat the shit out of everybody else um, that's it uh, it's good that they got an option to share the build I'm sure you can name them slugger super slugger um, <laughs> thug slugger yeah that's a good name Sl thug slugger um, this is nice um yeah, so all these sort of gun builds, and uh, yeah, 
Uh, I'm not going to get into the gun builds for now. As I said, I'm a, I'm a big fan of stealth. So these kind of optical, look, improved optical camo cyberware. So that would be great for your stealth character. Being detected by it will temporarily slow down. Dodge your down. Oh, that's brilliant. See, these relic ones are very good for stealth there. Um, uh, right, you can now overcharge, attacking with gorilla arms. Now charging up with fully charged, on deals massive damage. See, these are, these are sort of complementary um, elements that will help you if you've got specific builds. Like I said, those two will really help wonderfully for any stealth build character. That would help my uh, thugger slugger character immensely. Um, all leap attack with immense blades. Again, that's with your ninja character. That will help wonderfully. Again, shockwave. That would be brilliant for the the um, slugger character. And um, yeah, you got all these little nice little upgrades that just will help you. Um, they're sort of complementary, aren't they? By the looks of things, which is really nice. Cool. I like that. Um, okay. So if we go back now to this character the um net running type character which i still think is overpowered yeah look ram recovery rate uh ram recovery yeah just build all this this is like 100 percent duration for control quick cam yeah all of this so you're just this is just pure net runner build um all of these um i can't believe they've got rid of their uh stealth ability where you can um, like a panther attack it had a little spider icon and you would jump from a height and you'd always do a stealth attack from a height on an unawares enemy i think you could even do it on an aware enemy uh, i can't see it here um maybe i've missed it somewhere uh, maybe it's on one of these um but yeah so look there's a lot to play with here i'm not going to go on too much um but yeah, I mean, this is a nice little tool to give you an insight into playing with builds. And it's great that you can share those particular builds. So I think um, it'll be nice to uh, see what other people come up with. You know, some people will spend a lot of time here and be quite meticulous in naming their character like Thugger Slugger. And, um, you know, spending all the points perfectly. Um, it'd be good that if, if you can share these with other people. Um, and sort of limit some of the points that you've got. Um, so you, you're quite happy with, with a build, and then you say, right, that's it. You're not gonna spend the rest of the point, and you can just discard the points that you haven't used. I mean, that, because it take, it does take a bit of, uh, what's the word? Uh, it takes a bit of uh, self-control to say, oh, look, I'm just gonna keep this as that, and not spend those extra points I've got on something else just because they're there. Um, this is what I did with the uh, no upgrades playthrough that I did and um, yeah so I think I'll leave it that this is pretty cool um, like everyone else I'm very excited for uh, Phantom Liberty and obviously the 2.0 update whether I wait until Phantom Liberty actually releases because that uh, relic uh, option does look really cool for my type of character build that I would make um, but I will probably will make another character to add to the hundreds I've got already um, just to play with these in the, when the 2.0 releases next week. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching. And um, it's been nice to hear what you guys got to say about what kind of builds you would like um, from looking at all these and what kind of characters that you like to build and play with. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.